Hey yo guys, welcome back to another Cuppy70 Titanfall 2 video here today. I've been wanting to get a video out so long for Titanfall 2, and I finally, 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 finally got one out. It's been a while. So today, we have done Scorch, Ronin, and Monarch. Today, we're rolling out in the infamous Legion with his very impressive Predator Cannon. Again, this is another uh, post-game talk, so I'll be talking about the gameplay, the Titan, the gun I use, and why, etc. Alright, so, as you guys can now see, we're going to be hopping in on the Titan, and I'm just going to, uh, we're going to go take a look at the Titan customization of what I have. So for my pilot, I use the R97, MGL, and RE45 Auto. You're not going to see the RE45 Auto, I don't use it that much. R uh, R97, I have uh, Speed Reloader, Gun Runner, so that's pretty good. And Titan, I have Nuclear Ejection, Lightweight Alloys, which is pretty much just to make it move faster when the Predator Cannon is spooled up. And then Doom Shield, which I've explained in previous videos. So we're just going to go ahead and hop into a game of Attrition, or Pilots vs. Pilots, but we do get into a game of Attrition. Um, so a quick rundown on the Legion! He has a very, very large Predator Cannon with 100 shells, um, pretty good rate of fire, um, he has, like, a, he has one defensive ability, which is, um, oh my gosh, uh, Gun Shield, so for me on my Xbox controller, that's LB, and boop, Gun Shield goes up and he doesn't take any damage and stuff, and etc. The volume is loud for me, but it's not loud for you guys, so I, I'm good. So we're hopping into Relic. And, um, the boost I'm going to be using today is the battery backup. Um, it's really loud for me, though. Okay, cool. I don't know if I lowered it for you guys at all. But, uh, we're going to be rolling out. I'm playing with a friend today. Uh, Swain Clover, him and I are gonna play a nice game of Titanfall 2. And FYI guys, this is a fun game. This is one of my better games of all time. This morning, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna play Titanfall 2. I'm gonna record whatever the first game, and that's gonna be the game I post. No matter whether I did good or bad, it was just a 50-50. And we're gonna have to see, no spoilers, but we're gonna have to see if this is a good game or not. So, as you guys can see, the R97 has a fast reload, and, I mean, not fast reload, fast rate of fire. It has about 40 bullets in the magazine, um, and it is a bullet hose. You're going to be finding yourselves, um, if you do use the R97, um, is that it's very inaccurate, but at close range, it is the gun you want to be using, because you can most likely 100% of the time outgun someone even if they have the drop on you as long as you aim well and as long as you nail your shots and you'll be doing pretty good. Um, as you saw there that guy did not last very long. Uh, and let's see what else and also for the R97 I recommend using Gunrunner. If you don't use Gunrunner you're gonna be very inaccurate on the move so make sure you use Gunrunner. Um, speed Reloader is I have that on every gun um, because it's just very good to have. Um, you can reload quicker, you can gun run well, you can on the wall, on the ground, etc. You can hit some people on the move, which can be the difference between life or death and some engagements. And let's see here. We're gonna get this guy before that guy Krabered us. I just don't realize he actually killed me with the Kraber. I didn't notice that when I first did this game. Um, Alright, and if you guys are wondering what the boost is, extra emergency battery, is that uh, when you go into your Titan, you can plug it into your Titan, which of course, if you don't know, batteries are used to either give your Titan full shields, give your Titan some uh, extra HP back, and also boost their core. Now, speaking of the core, the Legion's core is the smart core. Um, if you are new to Titanfall 2, or if you have played Titanfall 2, um, if you're a veteran of Titanfall 2, you especially know what the Smart Pistol is. If you don't know what the Smart Pistol is, it is another pilot boost where 
Um, it locks on to a target, and it pretty much aims for the spot that does the most damage. Uh, but for the Smart Core on the Legion, though, it does something similar with Titans, but it mainly is super, 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 super good for anti-personnel and taking out pilots, as you're going to see later on in this replay. So it's it's going to be it's going to be interesting. Um, and we're going to be first to fall here. And let's see. Um, I think I forget to do my battery boost, which yes, I did. So without using the battery boost, I, my legion is not going to have shields. So what you saw me do there was gun shield and RB, which is kind of like a shotgun mode for the Legion. does tons of damage up close. And then you can just do that, reload, get out, and, do, and rearm. I'm re returning on the gun shield again, doing another, like, shell shot. And then turning on my smart core here now. And as you guys can see, the smart core is locking on to the pilots and instantly killing them. And we've got ourselves a triple kill here. It also equips on to grunts, specters, stalkers, what what have you. And you also have unlimited ammo for the entire time that it is running. And then again, what you saw me do there is use that shotgun blast. Because it is very, very good for taking out pilots. And as you're going to see here, a pretty sweet double there. So use that to your advantage. When you see a pilot do that, it's going to really, really help you out. It's really going to help you out a lot. Um, so really, as you can see here, the Legion, use your gun shield uh, to, the, to, the, to the most of your ability. Also use your shotgun ability as well. That's really going to help you. And I also recommend, as I said, to use lightweight alloys on your uh, while your Predator Cannon is spooled up. So you can move faster, which again can be the difference between having a successful charge or not. And that's something that you really, really, really want to have on a Titan, especially the Legion. Because it, it, as it is already a slow Titan. So we're going to be taking out this Tone here. Let's hope we can get him. Oh, it's going to be close. i got to reload. Oh, got a nuclear eject. This is going to be a good eject. Got a triple kill there, baby. Look at the kill feed, everybody. <laughs> I just wanted to, just like, when I did this, I was like freaking out. I was like, yes, a good nuclear eject. This is always so satisfying to get in Titanfall. Alright, and now back to the R97. Um, Again, the R, as I said, R97 is a good weapon to have at close to mid-range engagements. Don't try to do this long range unless you do, like, consecutive little bursts of firing. But again, Titanfall is a fast-paced game. That by the time you're doing that and a, tight, and a player gets hit by it, by your shells, it's going to be like, oh, i got to get to cover, and you won't get a chance to. R97 doesn't do too much damage, though. Um, and then look here. This is going to be a bit of a problem, but hey, we got him anyway. My That fire star I threw was for him, but it hit the pilot, I mean the titan. And I think we're going to die here. No, we're good. We've made it out of cover, and we get pistol down, actually. Quite surprising. Um, let's see here. What else is there to, there is to talk about for this loadout, especially with the Legion? Hmm. I guess I'll talk some more about the, the Smart Core. So Smart Core, use it in, an, in a spot where you know there's A, a Titan, B, pilots, and that's really it. A and B is what you need to have in a, a successful engagement um, in order to get a good kill feed with your Legion. And that time I used my battery boost, and now I have full, well I had full shields, but I got hit by a Firestar. Um, and it's nice, as you can see with that battery, it gave us quite a bit of our boost to our laser core. I mean, smart core. So it's it's pretty helpful. I recommend that on all of your titans. Alright, let's see here. We're going to maybe get into an engagement here. As we just punch down three titans. Now, 
the range with your shotgun blast is not very close. So make sure if you're going to use it. Um, just um, make sure you're in their face. Alright, here we go. We're going to put on our smart core again. We're going to get a double kill here. And then... Unlucky for us, but lucky for the uh, enemy uh, pilot who managed to drop his Titan on us midway through our smart core. And what's nice about the uh, emergency battery backup is that you can have up to two at a time. And we're going to play super aggressive here. We're going to hope we don't get destroyed. Reload our wonderful R97. And this guy decided to follow us through. Follow us through there. This was a pretty good match, as you can see. We are winning by a large margin. So we're going to be, of course, winning this match unless the enemies can pull off some kind of miracle comeback, which would be super impressive. And then now we're going to take on this Ion. You put him in do mode. And his pilot is going to come up to get us, I think, after that ejection. Yep, there he is. We're going to wait for him. I missed all of my shots, and I go for the punch, but he managed to get me with the pistol before I could finish him off with the R97, which was a bit unfortunate, but in the end, it was still a decent engagement. As you can now see, we have two ener uh, energy backups. We have two battery backups, so we're ready to go for our Titan if necessary. And the game is coming to a close here, as now we are just continuing to grow our lead. And here we go. This Legion is going to nuclear eject, and I was quite concerned with him killing me, so I had to run away. Switch back to the R-97, as there were pilots. And we're going to drop our Legion. And then I just fell through this hole here. Which I don't even know where that hole came from. Oh, the Scorch. Oh, jeez, man. He could have stepped on this right there if he dashed forward. Alright, let's get back in the big boy here. Alright, we got one pilot with a shotgun blast. We're going to get this tone here. And just look at how quickly we're getting our core, guys. Just just watch the, the dial in the left-hand corner explode forward when we were engaging that tone. We're getting archered, MGL'd. We're kind of getting all sorts of destroyed right now. And let's just go ahead and reload. Nope, we're going to kill the Stalker first and then reload. Alright. And then I wanted to go for another pilot double kill. I didn't get it though. Except I did get him. And then my friend hopped on my Titan. We got full shields because my friend managed to give me some a battery. And I think we're going to be okay with this. Oh, what a waste of that. And then we're going to be engaged by this Scorch. I decided to get close to him. Get a couple pilot kills there with the Smart Core. Because that is what it does best. And then we're going to destroy this man's Auto Titan. And, oh no, we actually only got a kill there. And the dog is barking. Yay. We all know how that went on one of my live streams. Oh, speaking of live streams, tomorrow, guys, I'm going to try to do a YouTube live stream. I think I might have it fixed. And let's see what we can do. And I have a total of 37 kills, which for me personally is insane because that my, my that is my new PR. My previous PR was 32 kills. I have hit 37, which is a pretty big number to hit in a Titanfall game. So I was pretty happy with the outcome of this match and not only was i happy that i had good gameplay for a youtube video but i had a different map as you guys do remember from my previous titanfall videos all we ever get is dry dock so yeah now all we have to do is shut down their uh their escape which i don't remember if we did or not but we're gonna find out I, I, well, I technically got 38 there at the end, but since it was the epilogue, it didn't count. And here we go. The long grind to kill their dropship here. 
Uh, all the pilots managed to get in, and now it's just time to have some fun with their auto titans. Almost get stepped on. But everything was good in the end. First place, 37 kills, 4 titan kills, with a score of 239 points. Yes. That was my best Titanfall 2 game of all time, right there. Because previously, my, my best one was with my Scorch, and it was on the map of Rise. And we leveled up to Generation 8, Level 18. We're going to level up the R97 to Gen 5. And are we going to level up... Hold on, more upgrades to the R97. And we are going to level up the Legion to Gen 3, Level 12. Alright, and we got the Apex Predators back up as well. I'm going to go ahead and pause it here. Me and my friend, we had we replayed about another like 10 games. Um, there's only 14 seconds left on this replay though. So I just wanted to say thank you guys so much. And I hope you guys enjoy these Titanfall 2 clips. Um, I really hope you guys do. Because I, personally, they're tons of fun for me to make. And they're tons of fun for me to sit down and do a relaxed commentary over them. And if you guys have any super cool Titanfall 2 clips you want me to do voiceovers of or or War Thunder, or World of Tanks, whatever, just send them to me on Discord, and I will take a look at them, and then I will put them on the YouTube channel, if you guys are interested in doing that, if you do want to see your own Titanfall clips, War Thunder clips, World of Tanks clips, or even Dungeon Quest clips, send them to me on uh, Discord, I'll watch them, and if, I, and if I really like the gameplay, I will do a commentary over it, and I will post it on the YouTube channel. Any of you guys, look forward for a stream tomorrow, hopefully. It's going to be in the afternoon, though, because I'm going to be pretty busy tomorrow. So it won't be in the morning. It'll be the first evening stream. Um, for me, it's probably, for my time, it's going to be roughly, like, pretty late. Not, like, late, late. Probably, like, 4 or 5 o'clock, maybe even 6 o'clock my time, which is mountain time, U.S. mountain time. So I don't know what other you guys' times are. So the stream should be around there couple hours we're going to be doing some dungeon quest so stay tuned to that and hope you guys are having a great friday and i look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow and have hope you guys have a great weekend thank you so much it's been cuppy 70 and i look forward to seeing you guys in the next one bye bye